SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. Hello and welcome to Real Talk. My name is Cornelia O'Dwyer and we are at Terraculture on Victoria Island. I'm about to meet up with some friends to talk about relationships. Come with me. On Real Talk today, we have O.C. Ukeje, popular actor and singer. Isio Wanogo, actress, writer and columnist. And Demilade Roberts, creative photographer. Hello guys. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hugs for the ladies. Hi. What's up? Just Hello. Just air kisses. <laughs> You look gorgeous. Thank you. Not that you guys don't, but she's giving me life here. How are you? How are you? How are you? We're fine. So should we jump straight into it? So I was talking yesterday to a friend about physical appearance because some guy toasted me and he had some aesthetic features that I didn't really appreciate. He had tribal marks. And it was one of those things where eh, you you always been too picky, you know, why can't you just get to know him and I'm like there's no point starting because yeah, I know that like you do you understand like I just felt like you know it's not necessarily because I didn't even think he was a nice guy or person it's just not a feature that I appreciate hmm. so I hmm. when it comes yeah, to yeah, marks, <laughs> marks, physical features in a partner and not just tribal marks so weight um, obviously tribal marks tattoos stretch marks um, height how important do you guys think that is in a relationship? Do you think that you can overlook those flaws if the heart is a, you know, if somebody has a giant heart, oh. as they say? <laughs> <laughs> what do, let, me, let me start with ladies first. To be honest, I don't see most of these things as flaws. I don't see stretch marks as flaws. Because most people have stretch marks. And if you're dating a guy who happens to be fit or he's into bodybuilding, there's a very high percentage that he will have some stretch marks, not disgusting stretch marks, but he will have a little bit. For me, that's kind of normal. Height, I mean, the will cover up the you know, marks. you know, you know. So <laughs> when, when he's, right. yeah, it kind of covers. It. As long as he has, he has good skin and he's clean, mm -hmm. I don't have a problem. Um, tribal marks depend. I mean, are you talking about? Oh, I got mauled by a lion, kind of. <laughs> no, for me, it wasn't even like they weren't the obvious, like, like you know. That. Edward just Scissors' this. hands closed. They were just like, you know, a little, they were obvious tribal marks. So mm -hmm. for me, I don't know. I, I don't know the traditional meanings of those things or why people do it. It's oh, just something from that you that know. Yes, from that perspective, I am not interested in knowing. And I mm -hmm. could be very well ignorant mm -hmm. in that it's nothing. It mm -hmm. could be just a cultural thing. Mm -hmm. But it's just not my, you know. So okay. with height, would you overlook a short guy? I mean, you're not Gen short. Gen <laughs> Gen um, I have never dated a guy who was not taller than I am. Which right. means you will not so date a short guy. I just have never been attracted to one. Exactly. Not that I okay. think there's anything wrong with being shorter than me, but I've never been attracted to one. I think about um, men have quite... You know, you guys have a bit of an ego. Mm -hmm. I don't like that I'm going out with a man just because he's, he's smaller than me, sorry, shorter than me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm wearing my okay. heels. Yes. You know, I like to wear my heels and I'm like this high and he feels like, mm, blah, blah. I can't deal with that. That would right. be a problem for me. The so way he reacts sort of to- eating it. Eating into your it's fashion sense, or you know. into our relationship, the the, the smoothness. What if I ask you? I ask you, what if you shorter than you? Say he's five seven and you're what um, five ten? Wait, when I wear my shoes. six inch uh -huh. shoes, I'm oh. gonna be like, see that? Uh, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's much taller than he is anyway, so you don't like that obvious. What if? What if? I have no. just, I've, I've, I can't. I can't even visualize. I ask you, what, what if? What if he's in love with the fact that? you tower over him. Exactly. Yeah, and he doesn't... And he no, doesn't like he's in love with the fact that you tower over him. That, 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 that works, that works fine. <laughs> if, you, if you do accept it, you, do you kind of use it against... Do you think that it's a situation you use it against a partner? Yeah, I think you shouldn't cross that line because I think the focus should be on... I don't think you guys are being like good people right no, now no, no, because no, let's, when, when we get down and dirty, we do get down and dirty. And here's the thing. I think... I'm sorry. I think it's it's some level of immaturity mm -hmm. because here's the thing this is the issue yes. mm -hmm. but this is what you're talking about <laughs> right and i'm like uh yeah but when you can't face that particular issue those other petty issues come to the fore like no, with your no, tribal no, marks no, and no, with no, your you that no, you can't no. cook all those kind of things like all the flaws that you have okay, they no, are come i'm fighting dirty <laughs> <laughs> i want to throw it in your face that i gave you a chance 
Okay, so now we have escalated to the point yes. where you, okay, so that's what that's I, st what I still think that this is the issue. Mm -hmm. Yes, and this is what we should be trying to discuss. So, if somebody said to you that you that you do this, you even have maybe one wonky eye, mm -hmm. if you understand, yeah. and not that you do, <laughs> but no, with your wonky eye, that it, would that hurt you if oh. they've never said it before? Oh yeah, very or much. would you accept that? Because yeah, I do for, have a wonky for someone eye. to. He knows he has a wonky eye. Mm -hmm. He's probably been insecure about it all his life. Mm -hmm. And he met you and you acted like you didn't mind the wonky eye. Mm -hmm. And you made him believe it wasn't a problem. And then he falls in love with you based that, oh, this person accepts me in spite of my flaws. And then you have an issue about something else and then you use that one thing. He's been insecure about his own oh life God. to curse. I mean, but I would like to be comfortable enough with my partner where even if he doesn't have a wonky eye, I'm like, with your wonky eye. I mean, it it is, that's, 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 that's just a joke. Just, uh, no, as a that's joke. Different. Yeah, as a joke, that's fine. As in, when you guys are m mocking about and things, you're playing, yeah, you can do that. But this is a serious I issue. Yeah. Just, my friend, remove those your feet, George. They're just looking. It's nice, you can do that. Like, but you guys are fighting. Yeah, and I say with your wonky like eye. With bills and everything, and you're like, yeah, how can you see when you have a wonky eye? Exactly. And, and, it's, and it's a heated fight. Right. Yeah, no, you don't. So that's like grounds for the... So, yeah. so you're, you're essentially saying flaws cannot be overlooked? Because <laughs> <laughs> you, really, you guys haven't really hit home. Like, can those flaws be overlooked for a larger purpose? For, you know, if he had no finger oh, on his last... Course. You know, if you, they cut off his they finger. Can, oh, they can be. Once you, you choose to be with someone, you just, and you, you, you see the person's flaws, and you choose to overlook it, then you do. I think that flaws can be overlooked for the larger purpose. I, they actually should be overlooked the for the larger purpose. Flaws should be overlooked, not, not, not can be. They okay, be so overlooked. I don't want to put you on, on, on black spot, but is your heart big, big enough for that? And the truth is, I don't know. And the reason I say I don't know is because, I guess maybe because I've not been in a scenario before, but I have a friend who's, who dated um, a blind guy. Mm -hmm. You know, and she's in the business, she's an actor. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, she dated, you that's, know, that, that's she dated true. this blind music producer, mm -hmm. you know, for a while. And somehow, I guess maybe because for some reason, we just never saw him as blind. Blind, yeah. You know, but I know that one of the questions I kept asking is, so you're sure about mm -hmm. this entire arrangement? Because right. if this leads up to marriage, you know that there has to be some sort of provision. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to make the point that I understand that things happen in life, and I think that the discipline that comes with marriage or being adult enough to say that you want to settle with someone mm -hmm. is being responsible for that person through their lifetime. Mm -hmm. I know it's easy to say, and this is the reason why I, I said what I said in the beginning, that look, mm -hmm. I don't know because I haven't been in that position, but it's the adult, it's the mature, mm -hmm. it's the responsible thing to do, and then in a bid to alleviate things, I guess if you find out how to and I get extra hands mm -hmm. um, to assist when you are not able, able to. to. And these are conversations that I think that both parties have to put on the yeah. table. table. Right. Okay, well, it's going to be hard. To, yeah. I'm not going to be. It's not yeah. going to be mm -hmm. easy for me to be, be there. All it's not going to be fun. To there are days that I'm going to be like this. Mm -hmm. There are days I'm going to be out of my mind. But you have to understand. And then I can get some sort of help system right. in place so that when I can, someone else is there. But do you agree that? I mean, that sounds. That just. That was that sounded so good. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. 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 That's it. I right. have may his soul rest in peace. I know someone who towards the end of his life and he eventually passed away and this is a family member of mine who couldn't help herself. So I've lived through this before. I'm not just talking about it from you know, another perspective of if I am in this position. I think this is what I'll do. I have been in this position before where somebody who was strong and powerful and dominant became right. helpless, couldn't walk, couldn't talk, couldn't feed himself. And we stayed through it. I tell you what, I, my older brother was born with Down syndrome. So all my life, I've always had to cater for someone who can help himself. He's an Olympic gold medalist now for Nigeria, for the, for the Special Olympics in Nigeria. So he's doing it for himself. And, He's three years older than me, and all our life we've been pushing him. We went to primary school together until he now went to a, a development center to like help his, um, his skills and everything. Other than that, my grandmother died of motor neuron disease, mm -hmm. which is a disease that kills your neurons right. up until death. So we all, like, had her last years of our life, we all had to take care of her till she passed away. So I've had some experience with dealing with people who can't take it themselves. Yeah. People born with this and people who just ended up in, in, in going into it and everything. So, me personally, so I would- you'd be the perfect husband, let's put it that way. <laughs> so me personally, I wouldn't walk away. Now, right. and I'll say that because I, I am sure now that, because when you love someone, 
when you love someone, at some point, yeah. He said, when you love someone. At some point of marriage, at some point of marriage, at, at, at some point of being together with someone, mm -hmm. physicality reduces. Mm -hmm. Because it she's does. not the hot 23-year-old girl in my with the broken mm -hmm. boobs and the, yeah. she's flabby, mm -hmm. she's wrinkled, mm -hmm. she's not as agile, mm -hmm. she doesn't have your time. Mm -hmm. She hits menopause. Right. She physically dies. Right. So she now ends up with one leg. Mm. It shouldn't really change so it shouldn't anything. Change. We decided to take real talk to the street. If you're someone that is deep and you appreciate people for who they are and you see their soul, that's what it is. But if you're shallow, I mean, that's, that's your problem. You end up going around and around looking for shallow people like yourself. You look at somebody and a picture comes to your mind straight away. You understand? So I believe uh, appearance really you know, has a lot to do with relationship. Uh, disability is, is, is an odd thing to really deal with as a normal human being. If you are not having any part of you deformed, of course, you will find it difficult having, you know, to do with somebody that has deformity in a way. So, but then, I mean, sometimes we make a lot of mistakes. When you go close to people that are deformed, you find out they are actually different from what you see them to be other than that deformity they have. Most people like dressing casually, very sexy, but that doesn't mean they are not good. Like somebody like me, I love being on short gowns, so that doesn't mean you could judge me by the way I dress. Like I said, a book is not judged by the cover, so you have to go into it before you know. Do you think age has anything to do with accepting or I think being okay with I think floor? for some people it does. Um, you were asking about flaws, and this, it depends on the person. For instance, I was 30, I was not married, but I met this guy who wanted to settle down in six months. And my, the one thing that I can absolutely not stand is, is sweat and saliva. Right. I wouldn't date someone, if I'm dating you and you, you make a habit of drooling in your sleep, we're done. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Red cat streets. We're done. No one we are, no. I can't, like, oh, you sweat a lot or you, you talk and, you know, saliva just shoots out of your mouth. We're done. Right. Um, you so, that's, uh, I can't. And then I noticed that he was sleeping and he was, oh, my God. And this was, at, you said, at 30. Mm. So, okay. Mm -hmm. But a lot of like, people no, say, no, uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> because I know that if I eventually get married to this guy, I'm doing myself a disservice and I'm going to make him angry and bitter and I'm gonna get angry it, it's just it's too much work I can't deal with it he sweated so much the pillow was I, I couldn't sleep on the bed I literally lay on the wooden frame of the bed because I, I couldn't bear it yeah, I would I, freak I, out I if somebody why. I don't I think that's more of an just, extreme like, yeah. no I can't yeah, yeah I can see why now <laughs> like deuces that's a flaw yeah and I'm honest enough to know that I can't live with this thing I don't care for if I'm 45 right if a guy, if I'm not married at 45 and some guy comes to me and he sweats, I know. Right. So because you have it would not work. I don't know, I'm married at 42, so it's, It won't in, work. People, so there's just some things. It depends on the person. There's some women that would hold their ground and say, I know what I'm worth. Mm -hmm. Like, my guy is still there. Mm -hmm. If he's not now, he's not now. Like, but some women are like, ah, man, we're out of time. Prayer pressure. This one has three children. Mm -hmm. I'm still here. Exactly. <laughs> oh, more the next guy that comes. Yes. <laughs> But what I do you have think to that say, changes though, as, you, as you've gotten older, did, mm -hmm. did, did your taste change? I, I think so. Because here's the thing, when you're younger, you're looking for a list oh. of 10 options. Yeah, yeah. You know, by the time you get it's to like 35, tick, 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 yeah. yeah, you're like, mm, this is not so important anymore. Mm -hmm. And you reduce that list to, you know, the functional things that you yeah. want out of a partner. Mm -hmm. And you begin to find the things that you can live with. Mm -hmm the things that you can compromise on, yeah. when maybe 10 years before that, you just knew that, mm, no, I can't do this, I can't do this. But mm -hmm. as you get older, yes, you definitely, and then the options are not a lot. Listen. Like, let's listen. not even kid. Like, yeah. listen Slim now, picking. listen, listen, slim pickings. So you have to be honest with yourself and say, look, these things are, you know, ephemeral stuff. These ones are the more important things. And then there are only a few people in that option. And you're like, yeah. I think it's been a wonderful conversation. And if we were to summarize this, it sounds to me like I think age does affect, you know, Choices. overlooking the flaws. Yeah. I do think that in um, I when you get into the marriage, I think things like that, people do make the mistake of overlooking because of age. So it doesn't really define 
that oh I'm 35 I must mm. but even at 35 if you overlook some certain things and you when you get into it because it's going to bother you yeah. like I don't yeah. I don't want to date somebody that is not my physical spec just because Absolutely. time is Time is going. Yeah, <laughs> time, ah, time is, is going. going. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys so much for joining us today. Oh, nice. You can join the conversation on Twitter and Instagram by following us at Andani TV. If you have a topic you would like us to discuss, just use the hashtag Andani Real Talk. Until then, I'll see you next time. I would say like there's a lot of people that there's a, I've been on like I've been on dates where it's like someone saying you know, and I know who'll be perfect for you mm -hmm. and you know you should meet this person and like we'll go and we'll meet up and it'll be a disaster. Right. Okay, Tracy Banks, pay my money, thank you. Oh, <laughs> hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy DJ Case. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to Danny Chief channel where you can watch more videos. Subscribe, just hit that button right there more videos. Enjoy. Everyone's happy. Thank you.